Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope each and every one of you are doing fantastically well. We have got lots to talk about today. Lots to discuss. Chelsea squad news, injury news, but most importantly, some very very good transfer news for the January transfer window. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. First off, let's talk about Hakim Ziyech's fitness update. After the Sevilla game, he had an interview and in that interview, he said that he is not still feeling his 100% and there is still some way to go before he achieves full fitness. So that gives us an indication that it might be possible that he will not start versus United and Mason Mount can again start on the wing. To be honest, I don't think Lampard will start Mason Mount if ZH is not available. He will probably focus more on Callum Hudson Odoi, but that is just my opinion. There is still a chance that ZH will 100% feature, but nothing is confirmed yet. This is the game of football. They are proper athletes. They can recover quite fast, and we have to wait and watch for further news to come in. If you ask me how I feel about this news, don't play ZH until he is fully fit. I know. Chelsea fans want to see him in action, want to see him play for us for the full 90 minutes, but don't risk him. If we risk him and if he gets injured once again, maybe he will be out for three months, four months. Who knows? We can't afford injuries like that. But if he wants to start, if he's feeling fit, then please start him and don't start Mason Mount on the wings. Now, let's talk about some very interesting transfer news. I know the transfer window is closed, but the January transfer window is quite closed and rumours are a part of football. Yesterday, Dennis Zakaria of Borussia Mönchengladbach of Germany was linked to Chelsea, United and Bayern Munich. It seems like Chelsea are very interested in signing him. We know we need a defensive midfielder and that is where he plays. He's a player like Michael Essien, his, his play style is similar to him and he's a very, very good player. He's quite young to 23 years old and is expected to be quite cheap compared to Declan Rice. Also, Declan Rice is touted to get a contract extension at West Ham. They are discussing with his agents, but nothing is confirmed yet. So, Dennis Zakaria, we might go for him. He's cheaper. He's quite young, 23 years only, and he has quite a lot of experience playing at the highest level. So, who do you guys want to see? Declan Rice at the club or Dennis Zakaria? If you ask me, I'm, I'm okay with both of them. They are very, very great players. Declan Rice, a bit costly, but maybe a better fit for Chelsea. Has, have, was at the Chelsea Academy for so, so long. Knows all of us knows all the players, is best friends with Mason Mount, Lampard loves him, but Dennis Zakaria on the other hand is quite cheap and we will sell quite a few players in January, trust me. Marcus Alonso will go, I think Kepa will go out on loan if we manage to offload him and many more such players. So, who do you guys want to see? Write down in the comments below and now let's move on to the next topic. Jorginho also had an interview today or you can say a press conference today, something of that sort and in that he said that he is helping Thiago Silva with his English lessons. That is amazing to see. Jorginho, our second captain in line, maybe, probably such a good player, such a human being and such a vital asset to the team. People were criticizing him earlier in the season and said that he, he does not fit in Lampard's team. But this season, to be honest, he has been spot on and has been one of our best players. So, it's good to see that uh, Jorginho and Thiago Silva are interacting well. And soon, uh, hopefully, Silva learns a lot of English and is able to communicate with all the players. So, that was it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. What do you think about the United game? Please support the manager. Please support the whole team until they are here. Don't criticize them over criticize them criticize them but don't over criticize them don't go over the board and stay in the line of respect so that was it for now guys thank you so much for watching and see you next time peace